Do you really want to give the tax man £408,900? Well, this is what you will do over your lifetime, even if the profits from your business are quite small at 30 k a year. Now, we all have to pay our fair share, but many business owners pay more than this without even realising it. And if your profits are more than that 30 k figure, then you're going to end up paying more than that 408000 £900 over your lifetime. Now, if you'd like to avoid this situation, then keep watching this video and I will show you how. Hi there, Chaz Rupra here from High Clarity Accountants, as well as helping our clients increase their wealth. We will also make sure they pay as little tax as legally possible. We do this through the seven step process that we take our clients through. Now, as I would hate for you to miss out on this, I'm going to share exactly what these steps are in this video. So keep watching. So let's get started with step one, which is making sure you are educated with what you can and can't claim against your profits. Some of these will be obvious, but others fall into a bit of a gray area, such as subsistence, traveling, entertainment, charging rents to your business, uh, as well as a host of others. The way we help our clients with this is just providing with a simple checklist that they can check through when they come across these sort of items to see if they should or should not be relevant to their business. Step two, making sure you don't mix business transactions with personal ones. So if you have a business uh, bank account, then make sure you don't buy your personal shopping or book your personal holidays through that. I will come on to why this is so important in a later step. Step three, get yourself onto cloud accounting software. Now you might have been using Excel sheets in the past and been able to run your business successfully using those. And you might be thinking, well, if it ain't broke, then why fix it? You see, as well as business efficiencies that software can give you, the real benefit is in real-time reporting, as the transactions in your business can easily be converted into reports which give you the position at any point in time. This is vital for your accountant to be able to see how your business is evolving at any point through the year. And this is why it's so important not to mix the personal transactions with the business ones, as it will skew the financial position and it won't be accurate. It will initially look like the profits are lower than they actually should be, and this could affect any tax planning decisions that you make. Step four, or get yourself a personal balance sheet. Now, the accountant probably prepares one for your business already, and for most business owners, it's a bit of a mystery document that only the accountant actually understands. But a personal version will show what you own, what you owe, what you're worth, and how you can ultimately take steps to protect that wealth from the taxman. Moving on to step five, get a pre-year-end tax diagnostic. Now, this is where technology comes in. No matter how knowledgeable your accountant is, they will never remember 6,102 pages of tax legislation, and nor will we. This is why we use a tax diagnostic software which drills down into your individual circumstances and shortlist strategies and planning that will be relevant specifically to you. Step six, get your accountant to prepare you a recommendations report. This is where they can give you a list of actions that you need to do before your year end to have an immediate impact on the actual tax payable. We use a key improvement possibilities report for this purpose. It is then up to our client to implement that strategy or that recommendation if it's right for their circumstances. And finally, we come to step seven, which actually isn't really a step, but more something you should always be aware of. And is summarized quite fittingly by the proverb, to close the stable door after the horse has bolted. Or perhaps more fittingly, after the tax man has bolted with your hard earned money, it's a bit too late. I.e. tax planning is that you must be informed, you must be advised, and the action must be taken prior to the event, which is of course your year end. Now, hopefully your accountant is following, if not the same, a very similar way of working to make sure you're not paying more tax than you need to. But if you feel not, then feel free to get in contact with us and see if you qualify for your own tax diagnostic, which could help you save thousands. In the meantime, you might wish to get yourself a free copy of our taxability checklist, which is 70 tax planning ideas and strategies covering business tax, personal tax, capital gains tax, and inheritance tax all in a checklist format. To get your free copy, just click on the link below.